Hi, everyone. Welcome back to 2023. I'm very excited for you guys. Hope you have a great time during the holidays with family and friends. And I'm excited to have my first guest of 2023, Veni Potestivo. How are you, Veni? Great. How are you? I'm doing great. Hope you had a great time during the holiday times. Yeah, I took a little, a little tiny break just so I can try to get as far ahead as possible. I think like most of us did, but uh, yeah, I worked on you know fix, fixing uh, my my LinkedIn bio, rewriting my uh, the introduction on on Instagram. I think the things that we all we yes. all kind of had to do over the break. <laughs> nice to have some reflection and some edits for the new year. Mm -hmm. So Vinny is an. Uh, Emmy award-winning media advisor who helps clients build and maintain the media platforms they need to reach and sustain their goals. He's also the host. I have a podcast, which I recommend everyone to follow a Google news source that connects independent creators with opportunities to grow their careers and get discovered as a brand, uh, as a personal brand advisor himself. Uh, Vanny has helped elevate uh, through the use of original content, including some very famous names like Mandy Moore, Ashton Kutcher, Jessica Simpson, Beyonce, uh, and Lindsay Lohan. On, and on a corporate level, some great names like Macy's, Samsung's, and Nikon. So Vanny, my first question for you is, can you tell us what is personal brand on two or three sentences? And how can job seekers use that personal brand to sell themselves on social platforms and use them during their job search oh that's a great question and and our personal that's exactly what you use a personal brand for the personal brand think of it this way i i you you said three three things okay so i i would you said However three you <laughs> so going off of of three and thinking of of the awareness of time yes. that your personal brand is what you've done what you're capable of doing and what you can be doing. And I'm going to be mindful of those three, those three areas of brand. Um, when the area in which you can be doing something exceeds the area in which you are doing something. And often it will, this mm -hmm. is what, this is what helps us level up. Yeah. But when the area exceeds, when, when there's too much space between what I could be doing and what I am doing, that's where confusion and niching and the the devil kind of enters in and, and, and per, you know, uh, uh, minimizing thoughts and perform that that's where sort of that error comes into place. And on the bottom half, it's when we're do when, when, when what we're doing isn't growing and isn't on top of and isn't isn't um, being leveraged by the success of the previous attempts to be successful that's like to me it's so important to have that you know that alignment so so branding is literally you know uh, the understanding of what i can do what i have done and what i will do and it's it's a way for employers for people for our friends it's a way for people to talk about us when we're not in the room yeah. oh i i know Vinny can do this oh Vinny did that Vinny's doing x think of it as a time conundrum, I don't want to get into who, you know, some of the other ways that people approach the word, you know, personal branding. And I really like to make it the awareness, you know, of what I've done, what I am doing and what I will be doing, because that's what people mm -hmm. can participate with me on. Parts of the brand that they can connect with. I think that's what matters most. And usually I feel that personal branding is kind of related to content creation, right? On LinkedIn or on Yeah, Con content creation is a clue that can bring us to, to branding and content creation may be a result of branding. Um, content creation, <laughs> I'm kind of like in my head about this one for a second because I, I don't like to... I like to be aware of the content component to branding. Um, I think the output is really, really important, but I don't want the content to um, overshadow or overpower the importance of the journey, the destination, the collaboration, the mile markers that we've set up in whatever our goal is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I come from a background of reality television um, and I got to work at MTV in the late 90s and in and, and 2000s. And, and the thing I learned there was, was twofold. One was that at MTV, we created a 30 minute space for storytelling. Mm 
So I had that space, which is like the one part of the machine that I understood. And that's like, you know, our programming part. And that's what MTV can bring to the table is 30 minutes yeah. window. But the rest of it in talent development is understanding how an artist can perform the way that they want to perform, the way that they want to scale. Um, artists have a lot of choices and decisions that they get yeah. to make because there are, there are so many opportunities when you're when you're plugging into personal talent brands. Yeah. And this is why I get really sensitive about how, how I position talent brands. I'm just very mindful of them from, from time because yeah. time is the one thing that's going to change. Yeah. And time changes that personal brand more than anything else. Any action you can do, there's, I, I, let me rephrase that. There's nothing you can do that changes the perception of your brand more than what time can do. It's really, it's really a, a crazy factor. But 25 years of being in this industry, I've seen it. I've seen it be true. Yeah, I also tell my clients that you can start small. You know, as you mentioned, who, what do you know? If you are in computer science or if you are in engineering write things about that or follow people or in uh, or join groups that have the same values and you can start small uh, make a post a like comment and engage and it will develop eventually right yeah absolutely absolutely so small and 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 that even starting small even has to to do with the um the approach to bringing in new energy there there is a lot of focus on networking and meeting new people as yeah. a result of creating content right like there's such a it's such like a, a networking focused way of creating content and yeah. i think what i'm trying to get at is like there's there's it, there's the output of of uh, <laughs> there's us meeting which is simultaneously happening well for us for example we yeah, we're not we met, yeah. we're not meeting for the very first time you know on a, we actually have um you know gone back and forth and we've yeah. followed each other on social media and have made small over over a good period of time have made small um uh, connections with the, yeah. with each other that allow us to show up in yes. in full transparency and being completely um uh, uh, trusting of the situation because yeah. because it's small because you own it it's not, not to say it's small because you own it i'm sorry but because not too many hands own it yeah. it's not a company and it's not a publicly traded company and it's not fifty thousand people who get to weigh in on it mm -hmm. um it's private it's yeah. not small small is the wrong word private is what i mean because it, it falls in the private sector of, of media i think there are three sectors of media private social and, and the public sector of media so when you can leverage your private content in social media and you can leverage your social media in public or in private that's that's where there's some real success those are great tips Benny. thank you very much so for the audience watching or listening for the first time i'm going to ask Benny a couple of questions now i'm going to post them on a daily basis kind of a journey with us the whole week you can like share and put your comment so tune in next time for another great question with Benny.